What's up guys, welcome to today's video. On the video today, I've got a special guest on the channel. His name is Ryan Henney. I've been doing some work with him, um, filming him in the studio uh, on a monthly basis. So I've got some really cool videos coming up with some barbering techniques. He's just a super talented guy. Uh, I saw him on Instagram, reached out to him, and uh, had to have him in the studio, wanted to film his hands working. So I know you guys are gonna really like his work. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm putting out videos almost daily now. Uh, so wherever you're watching this video, make sure you hit that follow, like, or subscribe button and share this video with all of your friends out there and go give Ryan a follow as well. He's got so much inspirational work up there, definitely on Instagram. So go follow him, Henny Cuts uh, on Instagram. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here we go. What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a mullet, and I'm extremely excited to uh, showcase this haircut and explain what I'm doing throughout it. First, I'm starting off by uh, just separating the front and back section of this haircut. And the reason for that is because with a mullet, I really want to focus on a part at a time, a, a, well, a piece of the haircut at a time. Right now, you see me focusing on the back, starting with uh, my center section through the back, and I'm working vertically all the way down just to create a nice square shape. And I know with this guide, I'll be able to create the shape I want and uh, really follow through. And this uh, section right there that I'm cutting is the most important because it really sets up the foundation for the haircut. And as you see, I'm moving down with my next section, just following my guide. Whenever you're cutting with scissors, you always want to make sure that you're really seeing your previous cut and just matching up with it that way everything comes out even because like let's say you know you can't find your guide and you cut you're guessing at that point where if you would um just recomb the hair and create a new section and try to look for that previous cut you don't have to guess you know for sure that it matches with your cut from before and you don't have to double check your work you know it's going to be even and you see me slowly walk working you know from the center to the right and as you see here um i'm pulling it out towards me and not really to the back of me anymore and that's because in the corners of his head i don't want uh too much weight so i'm just trying to reduce weight in that section and you see it right there i comb it back and it just lays perfectly and now i'm doing the same thing that i did on the right side on the left side just following through my sections and Whenever I'm working with scissors, I always try to be patient with my work because let's say you uh, rush through it, right? And you don't really see everything and you're just trying to get through it. You're just going to create more work from you, work for you at the end of the haircut and you have to fix more things. I really believe in uh, just taking your time, doing it properly the first time so you don't have to go back uh, second or even third time. And right here this is going to be the last section that i pulled back and you're going to see that i do the same thing that i did on the right side and the left side in the next section which would be the last section <clears throat> just so that when he combs his hair back um or even just lets it naturally fall there's not too much weight in that area and it lays a lot smoother and especially also because i'm tapering um the sides of his head i want it to like lay smoothly and seamlessly and right here you see me um Taking another section. This part is um, just separating the parietal ridge so I'm able to blend into my clipper work. And instead of taking vertical sections, I'm taking um, diagonal sections. That way um, the hair could flow smoothly into the blend that I make. And I'm also able to control the shape that I'm creating in that area. I'm still trying to keep it squared, but cut it so it flows into the taper and whenever i'm working with sections i always believe like you know whatever sections you create that's the direction um the hair will flow and you just have to cut accordingly so right there i'm still working through it just finishing up now i do the same exact thing on the opposite side and just really taking my time taking sections like a comb with um a part and following my guide, you see that guide at the very bottom. If you notice it, 
I know that guy right there is my clipper work. So I always cut it to that shortest piece at the very tip of my fingers right there. You see that? And just make the um, shape square from there. And you're going to see it right here in the last one too. Right there. I'm just following it right from my fingers and combing it forward just to double check. Now, this is the last portion of the head I'll be working on, which is the top. And I'm really just keeping it square. I'm following my guide, as you can see, that I cut on the side of the head and just continuing it um, to give it a nice square shape in the front. Same thing on the other side. You can't see, see it because my hands are blocking, but I'm doing the same thing. And when I lay it forward, you'll see um, how nice and square that is. And also, I'm pulling up right here just to connect those two points because I didn't get to cut um, the very center portion of the top of his head. And I'm also using Matt Beck's new um, scissor that he came out with recently. It's amazing. The second I tried it out, I was like, yeah, I need this. <laughs> I need this in my arsenal. So yeah, if you guys are ever interested in looking at new scissors, I would highly recommend those. And also right here, you can see how um, sharp it is. It just melts the hair away. And right here, I'm just trying to create a nice um, frame for his haircut. Uh, I don't want it to be too blunt. That's why I didn't use trimmers and I decided to use the scissors. And right here, I'm starting my uh, fading process. So I'm balding him out. And then you see me come in with my blade open and create my first uh, portion. Uh, and now I'm blending it out. The key part when I'm creating my um, sections in my fade is to make sure everything is parallel and even so that it blends into each other. And I'm doing the same exact thing with my one guard and blending those two together with the half guard. And it's very uh, seamless. I fade with little to no pressure just to make it easier to blend these lines in and out. And after this, I'm gonna use um, my, uh, it's called the Speedo Guide number zero, but it's equivalent to like a number two guard. And actually, no, it's probably missed. But um, yeah, I'm using my one and a half instead and just blending into that bulk that you see up there. And after that, my fading is pretty much done. I just need to uh, clean up a little bit and detail the blend. As you see, I'm going back with my guards and just tweaking it however I see uh, that it needs to be uh, fixed at the time. And there's still a little bit of weight at the top, but I wanna go back with my uh, thinning shears later on to just clean that up. Right there is just detailing. And also, this is another thing I do um, just to help blend into the back of the mullet. Right there, I, you, as, you, as you see me pulling it out, there's a little disconnection. So all I'll do is um, basically cut that just so it falls smoother into um, my blending with my clippers. I just want everything to lay down smooth and flawlessly fall into each other. I'm doing the same exact thing on the other side. And now I'm gonna go in with um, my foil shavers just to get it really skin tight towards the bottom. And you see me doing this on the fade itself also, just to um, smoothen it out. And a very key thing to do with this is do it very um, lightly so you don't create any blunt lines. And right here, I'm just, uh, some people call it channel cutting. Some people call it um, slide cutting. But all I'm really doing is add or adding texture into the haircut uh, by, combing through the hair with my scissors and um, whenever you're doing this I recommend to do it with uh, the hair wet so that you don't um, cause too much irritation to the client because it does um, tend to hurt so I always do it with the hair wet and also don't close the blade and I'm also using the tri razor from free salon education just to add in even more texture um, with mullets, uh, I see them as highly textured haircuts most of the time, depending on what, you know, your client wants, but typically it's a very highly textured, um, haircut. That's why I try to add in texture as many ways as I can. And then right here, I'm just diffusing the hair just to add in as much texture as possible within this haircut. And you see it coming together right there. And all that was done with, uh, blow drying, really taking your time to blow dry the hair properly. And all this styling right here is uh, just taking that patience and time to really separate each hair accordingly. And you see the, the amount of texture on the back. 
and the overall hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. Share this video with all of your friends out there. And please know that if you'd like to support the channel, then you can go to Shop FSE, purchase some tools. On Shop FSE, you can download our haircutting system. It's an eight step system, eight different haircuts. It's also got terminology, 101 uh, videos, and also a PDF booklet to go with everything to talk about terminology, to show you guys the, um, the cutting sheets, step by step walks you guys through how to do it it's the easiest haircutting system out there in my opinion so go check it out on shopfse.com let me know if you purchase that uh, in the comments and that's it guys we'll see you on the next video thanks so much